Hi everyone, welcome to this our new video lecture of AutoCAD. So in this lecture we will discuss how to draw the projection of plane. In the previous lecture also we have started how to draw the projection plane and uh, the remaining of portion of that uh, we will discuss today lecture. So first of all we need to open our AutoCAD uh, software in our system then we will create a new page and uh, in that we will create a uh, drawing sheet by giving the command of MV setup and enable paper space no enter metric type uh, enter unit type metric scale factor 1 and paper width uh, we can give 400 no issue and we can give the paper height uh, 300 will give yeah by that we can create a uh, drawing space in this page so now we will see the so in the previous class we have completed these are the portions we have completed uh, first to uh, parallel, the plane is parallel to the HP and perpendicular to the BP and parallel to VP and perpendicular to yeah now this one we will discuss today parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP so let us start so this class we will discuss about a plane which is parallel to the vertical plane and perpendicular to HP so this is the condition is there and the question is given here the hexagonal plane is there and of side 25 mm and which surface is parallel to the parallel to and 20 mm in front of vertical plane so this is the we are having the vertical plane here and this is the horizontal plane okay and uh, consider a hexagonal plane so this is a hexagonal plane what was considered here and the observer will be observe the object from this side and this will be the front view okay and top will be from here the top will be visible from this side okay this is the top view and this is the front view and uh, the hexagonal plane is 25 each side this all side all six sides are 25 mm the surface this this is the surface of this uh, hexagonal plane which is parallel to the vertical plane so obviously this surface and this surface both are parallel to each other and the surface is uh, uh, 20 mm in front of VP. So from this vertical plane, this surface is situated with a gap of 20 mm. So this gap will be a 20 mm from this plane, uh, from this plane to the surface, 20 mm gap is there. I draw its projection when its side is uh, parallel to HP. Okay, here it given three conditions are there. One is parallel to the HP. So we need to draw the projection when this when a side when one side is like this side or this side or this side any of the side of out of six it should be parallel to the hp now for this condition we can say exactly for this condition this side is parallel to the horizontal plane okay next perpendicular one of the side is perpendicular to hp now this is parallel to H, uh, hp now perpendicular means this side any one of the side we need to keep perpendicular to HP so in that in that condition our object will be kept like this so that this side and this side will be perpendicular to the HP so this is the HP horizontal plane is there so that will be perpendicular and the last one is given inclined at 45 degree to the HP now any of the side any of the side it should be inclined 45 degree to the hp that means how much angle for this we need to take the 45 degree angle to the hp so let's start in the autocad uh, so first of all we need to see what is the reference line this is the reference line xy line and we need to draw the um, front view above the xy line and we need to draw the top view below the xy line and when you draw the projection orthography projection this plane will be rotated 90 degree so that the front view will be below the reference line sorry top view top view will be the below the reference line and the and for this object we can see the true picture true shape of the plane from the front view so we need to draw the front view first so let's go to the autocad so I have created the page so now we can go for the uh, line command and uh, let draw one line 
and next we'll go we have to draw the hexagon so we'll go for the polygon here and uh, enter the number of sides here 6 enter and specify the uh, center of polygon or edge we'll go for the edge so let's select uh, the first so what is the side of that uh, polygon given uh, 25 mm okay so here it is given 25 mm so yeah this is the polygon what uh, we want that was drawn here so let's draw the projection from each point so the projection will be need to be drawn here from each point we can draw and this one for this kind of conditions this point and this point both will be in the same line okay both this point and this point both will be lie on the same line so uh, here front view completed now what about the top view when you see the object from the top view we can see one point one point one point one point four points but both all are situated all are all are lying on the one line only only line will be visible from the top side and in the line we can get four points like four sides will be there one two three four a a f e d these are the points will be visible from the top side so we need to draw the line and that to be projected from the uh, front view and this object is situated from the 20 mm distance that means from the reference line we need to take a distance of 20 mm so let go for, from here line command again we can go for the 20 so uh, here directly i can connect this one and i can get the point here okay by that also I can complete so here again we need to extend up to here and this one need to be also extend so this is our top view of the object so that one we can highlight it and we can give some thickness of that after giving thickness if the line thickness was not changed then we need to change the display line width and uh, later on we can give the <coughs> text for this so we'll go for the single line text let's go for the height and angle is 0 degree so here uh, a blink will be there so that we need to write the text so that is the front view so we can start from the a des okay and v des then next is c des and this is d des this is e des and this is your f des so here we need to give the point a dash first one is a and last one is d and here you can see both this point will become on the same line so you can give uh, b dash comma f, uh, b comma f b comma f and here it can be given uh, c comma e and this is our x point and this is our y point now dimension also we can give it here a linear dimension we can give okay uh, or uh, any any dimension we can give so you can ma let mark it 25 so this is all about the first question so first question is completed and i will go for the second one and that is uh, this distance also let mark it this is a gap of 20 mm let mark it here so the second question is given that uh, perpendicular to HP one of the side one of the side is perpendicular for this condition as I told you so we need to rotate this uh, hexagon let copy this first okay just I clicked on that then I have taken uh, right side to this control C and control V let okay anyway we'll keep it here so now no, uh, yeah now this one let's select and we'll rotate this one rotate common and uh, specify the point and uh, now I want to rotate in this way so I can go for okay uh, let's select all then rotate it okay now select this point and uh, let's give here uh, angle of minus 90 yeah it was uh, somehow it's coming like that so otherwise we need to 
uh, only take the first one this one okay let uh, go for one by one rotate this select the point then go for minus 90 now we can change the uh, location of this we can give the uh, location as per our is no issue so this is your c dash and b dash point and this is your a dash and this is your t dash similarly we need to give the all the points here you can drag it you can keep it here and this also you can give it f dash so this is our location of point i hope all are same yeah a dash b dash c dash c dash c dash f dash okay now uh, again we need to draw the position from each point and yeah so this point will be here and this will be yeah now again we need to take a distance of 20 mm then we can draw the line yeah from here 20 enter and this one i can join directly here okay so this is our top view which will be visible from the top side and next uh, this point also you can uh, now actually we need to you can copy this you can paste here and paste here and this one can be paste here now one more line we need to draw to the midpoint of this now we'll change the uh, point here a comma B delete it now here it is C comma C comma F and this one E comma D comma E okay now this is the point location for this so second point completed now we'll go for the third question inclined at 45 degree to the hp now if you see this condition this line we need to take this is the line we need to take this 45 degree angle so let's see here what is the position of this okay so again for this we can give the distance this value let's check it once what is the angle between this line and this line yeah, it is 30 degree so this angle we need to make it 45 degree for our as per our question actually so this side should be initially it is 30 degree here now now this angle should be 45 degree okay because it is perpendicular here now it is perpendicular now when it will rotate this one as a 45 degree it will be not in the perpendicular condition but any one side you need to consider it should be uh, 45 degree angle to the hp so let do it okay we'll copy this one only okay copy and paste uh, yeah keep it here now this one let rotate rotate this with an angle of okay select the best point and now already 30 degree angle is there we'll give one more 15 point 15 degree so now you can check it 15 degree 45 degree angle okay so it is our now correct now based on that we have to give the all points select copy now at a time also you can do this all copy um, text and uh, plane simultaneously and we can at a time we can rotate also that one so that can be also done okay now we need to draw the projection from each point let draw the line and from here again
and again we can draw the line from here to 20 then come to here okay yeah so this one can be extended up to here and this one can be also extended up to this similarly extend this up to this one and this also we can extend up to the last one so by that we can join all the points now we need to give the uh, location of this so that one we have to give carefully copy okay let okay now we will edit a point so this is our b point and this is our f point this is our c point and this is our e point and finally this is our d point now this one we can give the we can highlight this color and we can change the thickness of this and next any other thing is there let's see 40 at angle okay that was a b f c e d a b f c e d okay correct and uh, this is the angle we need to give okay let's give the angle here okay now these things again what we'll do here this also they have given from like from here we can we can stretch it but both are coming in the same that's why i have not stretched here okay anyway so now this answer the front view we need to also highlight it so let's highlight this one with an, okay and this also you can change the color and we can increase the thickness of this and this is another one is there La first one what we drawn so that one also change the color and meanwhile we can increase the thickness of that okay so this is all about the uh, when the plane is parallel to the vertical plane and is uh, perpendicular to hp so this is the answer for that how to draw it in autocad so i hope all of you understood this so the next category is the plane is parallel to the profile plane uh, this will discuss in our next lecture so i hope all of you understood if anyone having doubt or any problem any issues are there problems are there you can give a comment on the comment box so thank you all of you thank you